Good evening, and may Jesus bless you real good. Uh, my name is Chuck Welch. I just wanted to throw my two cents into this uh, Starbucks controversy they're having with the Red Cups. Uh, somebody suggested that uh, you walk into the into the store and tell the counter person to you know that your name was Merry Christmas. And then they'd have to put it on the cup. And uh, I don't think that's right. I think you, we should uh, uh, not lie. As a Christian, you shouldn't lie. And that would be lying. So you're defeating your own purpose by doing something like that. Uh, we live in a world today where you, you have to buy gas. You have to buy groceries. You have to buy a number of things. And not all those people that you buy off of are Christians. But uh, you still have to buy food. And then you have to go to the department store to buy it. And I wouldn't suggest lying to any of them, you know, to get them to, you know, say Merry Christmas. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a thing where it means a lot to us as being Christians, but as far as a lot of people are concerned, it doesn't mean anything. So don't let that get you down. Jesus Christ died for our sins on that cross. And, uh, and uh, we're getting around today to the, the uh, Christmas season. We, Thanksgiving isn't here yet, but it will be. In case this is after Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. <laughs> So uh, what I suggest is just going in and buying your, your your latte or whatever you want at the store and just not make a big deal out of it. Just drink it and uh, be about your business. And uh, if you're there and you have a chance to preach the gospel or, you know, witness to somebody, then do that. But don't make a big spectacle of yourself by trying to say your name is Merry Christmas, that would only tends to, I think, make a fool out of you, you know, and uh, people, you know, the, think we're fools anyhow. I know the Bible says, you know, be a fool for Christ, but, uh, and that's true, but let's not carry it too far, because we want to be able to witness to people and, uh, you know, tell them the the love of Jesus Christ and what he has for them and what he is able to do for them. You know, the the gift of eternal life that, that Jesus Christ gave us is far more valuable than any latte or tank of gas or uh, bag of groceries that we would buy at a store. So just forget about that. If Jesus was on earth, I'm sure, and he needed groceries, he'd send somebody to get them. And uh, he ate with the sinners. He, he, you know, he visited a lot of places that, uh, you know, he, uh, the normal Christian would think that he didn't belong there. But he went there not uh, to try to make trouble, but to witness to people. You know, you witnessing the people in church I mean most of the people in church are Christians anyhow where you meet the people that need witnessing to is in those places they're, they're in uh, places where most sinners go to bars and, and whatnot and uh, you know a sick person when you're sick you go to the doctor you know, and, and so uh, when you're a sick person, you when you're a sick sinner and you need Jesus Christ, you go to church. So let's uh, keep Christ in Christmas this year. And uh, I see nothing wrong with, <clears throat> even if you're in a store that says you're not allowed to say Merry Christmas, you know. If you want to abide by their rules, then abide by them you know just uh, buy your product and and go your way and uh, that's just about all I have to say on it you know but I just don't think you should 
lie as, as a Christian. I don't believe you should lie and say uh, that your name is Merry Christmas because you're defeating your own purpose. Because I know somebody would come back at you and say, well, you're a Christian and you're lying. And, and you are. So let's just uh, have a Merry Christmas and, and let's do things the right way. And uh, most of all, keep Jesus Christ at the center of your Christmas. I thank you for listening to my ramblings here. So you uh, have a good day, good evening, uh, and good holidays. I thank you and may Jesus bless you richly. And I started saying that. Uh, just one more thing here before I go. I started saying, Jesus bless you. Because whenever you say the word God, it's generic. It could mean any God. Now, we as Christians know what God we're talking about when we say God. But maybe somebody else that isn't a Christian doesn't. You know, when I say God bless you, who am I talking about? You know, Allah? Am I talking about Harry Christian, am I, you know, what, what, what God am I talking about? And so when you say Jesus Christ, you know automatically what God I'm talking about. So that's why I say Jesus bless you instead of God bless you. So with that in mind, I say may Jesus bless you richly. Amen. Have a good day.